Cooling down with a refreshing drink is always nice, but those trays don't hold very much ice. Hey, with summer get-togethers coming, the Ice Genie claims it can help you make more ice in less space. In fact, the commercial says it can replace as many as 10 ice cube trays. That sounds like a claim that we would most definitely put to the test. For sure. So David Highfield found a willing participant to use the Ice Genie and see whether it can really work its magic. David's yeah. here. David. Ken and Christine, this was fun. Whether it's a graduation party, a family reunion, or a picnic, people will be making a lot of ice this summer. And the cool thing about the Ice Genie is it can hold the ice while you make more. But some of the claims in the commercial made us wonder, does it really do that? Laura McNeely from McCandless is a busy mom, but she found time to help us test the ice genie. What do you think so far? Um, it's kind of little compared to all of those. Right. Ice genie is easy. Just fill and chill. It seems simple enough in the commercial. The secret is the unique double chamber design. The outer chambers freeze the ice cubes, while the airtight inner cylinder holds them until you're ready to use them. And you can make more ice in the meantime. Then just refill and freeze again. Ice Genie can hold up to three batches of ice cubes. That's 120 ice cubes at a time. Wow, no more overcrowding. But Lori wonders how big those cubes could be. And the tongs that come with the Genie seem to reaffirm that. And so, look at these. Oh my gosh, they're so little. <laughs> they're like for children. <laughs> they're like teeny tiny. <laughs> the instructions tell us to get the inside cylinder all the way down so water doesn't leak into the middle. You needed to make sure, as we did, that this is secure or it'll just fill up the whole right right exactly and the ad makes a claim that has really us really wondering the revolutionary space saving ice cube maker that can replace as many as 10 traditional ice cube trays replace 10 trays that's what we test first we fill up five traditional ice trays and learn that it takes 14 cups of water so 10 trays hold 28 cups my teachers were right i did need to know math <laughs> But when Lori fills up the genie... I don't know. Is it already filled up? Do you think it's filled up? Oh, my gosh. I think it might already be filled up. We're kind of astonished. Really? We got only a cup of water in there. So even if it holds three batches, as advertised, the volume of ice the genie can make is far less than 10 trays. Now it's time to make some ice. Lori fills it at the faucet, which is a little tricky because the chamber is narrow. And then there's the lid. Oh, I think you're getting it. I, I think I am. <laughs> but it keeps popping back up. But once the lid is on, the Genie ad points out that the tight seal keeps the ice from taking on any freezer smells. Lori tucks it in her freezer, and we leave. So it's a day later. Let's check this out. We have a little trouble getting the middle cylinder out. So it's the moment of truth. All right. Oh, geez. So it's a little uh, frozen. And Lori's careful with it because remember those small ice tongs? They cracked in half on her. She broke the teeny I tiny did. tongs. <laughs> Try not to break anything I else, will, Lori. I won't. I <laughs> won't. Okay. But with the cylinder removed, the ice pops right out, just like in the commercial. But Lori's suspicions about the size are confirmed. They're about as big as my thumb. Compare that to regular cubes from a refrigerator ice maker. Which one do you think would keep your beverage cooler? In its defense, the genie did make ice. But... What do you think? Does it really do that? Um, I think it makes ice cubes, as it says it does, but I think they're um, pretty small and most likely unusable if you really wanted to keep your beverage super cold. But wait. One last claim in the ad is that it's perfect to keep cold a pint of ice cream or maybe a bottle of wine. I would use it as a uh, chilling bucket for a nice bottle of wine. Right. Which isn't bad. Yeah, Lori is right. As an ice bucket for wine, it does seem pretty well suited. And as for the price of this, we paid $19.99, but there are some places online selling it for less. So if you're interested in this, if this appeals to you, shop around. I could have used this. My son and I just did his science experiment on how quickly you can cool a drink with things like this. But well, there you, go. there you, you go. You needed the ice juice. <laughs> so it, it does take up less space, right? It does because it, it makes less ice. <laughs> right. uh, but however, Lori thought this was interesting. You know, 
because it's round, she found her, I, I will tell you, her freezer is jam packed. She found it more difficult to fit this in than maybe like ice cube trays, regular ice yeah. cube trays. So it just depends, yeah, on your perspective. But right. little ice. Sounds like a fail. Little mini cubes. <laughs> <laughs>